In this video, we're gonna create callout titles that can be used to help describe specific details within your footage. We're gonna keep this video short, simple, and straight to the point, so please be sure to drop a like on this video, and let's get started. And I should mention, you can download our project files for free if you wish to break this down or follow along. So we have our footage. We're gonna go ahead and insert some titles into this shot, but first I need to show you how to create some simple titles that we can call out to. And then we're gonna motion track this shot. And then I'll show you how these titles will be placed into our footage as if it was shot there. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is create a title. So we'll come here to the new composition button and we'll go ahead and create a new title and click OK. So for this tutorial, we'll be creating a title like this. If you want something a little bit more advanced, you can check out some of our other typography tutorials. I will link them below. They have a little bit more, you know, detail in them. First thing we'll do is we'll type out our titles, of course. So maybe you want to describe, you know, what's in the shot. And maybe we want another text layer. And this could be like the price, for example. Um, and go ahead and type out your titles and you know size them up exactly how you want them to be right here in the center so then we'll come here to the top to create a shape because we want to highlight you know our titles so we can come here grab the ellipse tool here at the top and we can draw out this perfect circle by holding down shift on keyboard you can come here to the line tab and make sure that this is centered up and underneath our title now we can click on the word fill set it to none click ok click on the word stroke and set the solid color and we'll use a stroke width of 30. And you know, that looks pretty good, but let's go ahead and colorize our shape layer by going to effect, generate, and we'll grab a gradient ramp. With the gradient ramp effect selected, you'll see there's two anchor points here. We'll go ahead and bring the top one down and we'll bring the bottom one up here to the circle. And then we can change our starter color to say a nice decent yellow. And then we'll come into end of color and we can set this to a nice, you know, orange type tone here. And when you're happy with your layout, now we need to create the actual, I guess, call out, right? So here in our main composition, we have these lines here. We want to be able to point to what the title is talking about. So what we can do uh, to create this is grab the pen tool, make sure fill is turned off and stroke is turned on. And we'll use a stroke width of about two. And what we're going to do here is click a point, hold down shift on your keyboard and click another point. This will draw out a straight line. And then we can click, let's say, another point here to add an angle to this. And this will create a little bit more, I guess, detail. And then what we'll do is bring this new shape layer down underneath everything. So that line will be cut off underneath the circle. Then I would like to add just a circle here so we can see what, you know, this is being placed on. So we'll come here and grab the ellipse tool again. And we'll draw out a perfect circle. Hold down shift. Then let's control double click the pan behind tool here at the top. This will center the anchor point on this layer. And then we can duplicate this layer by going to edit, duplicate, hit S on keyboard for scale. We'll scale this down. And this time we'll turn on the fill to a uh, solid color. We'll change the color to say to white. And this will create a solid circle uh, right here in the center. Before we move on to the next step in our call out tutorial, creating motion graphics from scratch can take hours to days of your time. So to help you save time and produce excellent work, we have produced over 10,000 pre-made templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. For example, you can preview templates right here in After Effects without leaving the software with the Motion Duck extension and apply a template, say, from our title pack to your project. From there, you can change colors, titles, and everything you need to get your project done. In under a minute, you have a full graphic ready to go for your personal and client projects. Be sure to check out our links in the description below to see all the templates and start saving time now. So now let's talk about animation. So the first thing we'll do is we'll animate the shapes. So we can grab our big circle here, right? And we can open up the shape layer. We'll come here to add and we'll add a trim paths. We'll open this up and we'll bring the end to 0% and we'll add a keyframe for it. We'll move forward to say one second and we'll set this up to 100%. Another thing we can do is we can add a keyframe for offsets and go to that last keyframe there and just change the offset. So what's gonna happen is our line will be animating and also moving at the same time. So it's one thing we can do here is grab our keyframes, hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy ease, go to the graph editor, and here at the bottom, we can just bring these points inward and this will create a really cool snapping animation. So here we'll have that animation and that looks so slick. And then we can animate the line in a very similar way. So we'll just open up our line here and this is that call out line right there. And what we'll do is go to add and we'll add another trim pass to this one. We'll open this up and we can set that end to 0% and we'll add a keyframe for it at the beginning, go to one second 
and set it up to 100%, make an easy ease, and just repeat the graph editor animation again. So now we'll have our line animated, and that was great. And then for the circles, we can keep this simple. You hit Astro and Keyboard for scale. You add a keyframe for both of these, move them forward to one second, and then set the scale down to 0% and continue the same animation method. So now we just gotta do the title and we can keep it also simple. We can open up our title layer, go to Animate, and we can add an opacity to this, set it down to 0%. And we'll come here to range selector, add a keyframe for start, go forward to one second and set it up to 100%. Uh, and we can just make it easy ease, copy the animator one by selecting it. And we'll come here to begin of our timeline and paste it to the second title. So now we've animated everything here and you can offset these in your timeline so they don't all come in at the same exact time. So by offsetting everything, we'll have this animation like this. So that is pretty cool. So now we want to track our shot and import our title into the motion of the shot. So what we'll do is grab our footage layer, go to effect uh, perspective, and we're gonna grab a 3D camera tracker and it'll automatically analyze your shot. And once it's done tracking your shot, you can grab the effect here and we can analyze our footage by scrubbing here. And what we want to do is start to find points that we want to attach, you know, our graphic to. So for example, if I want to grab this plant here, I can grab this point, I can right click it and click on create text and camera. So now if we scrub through our footage, you'll see that After Effects created a text layer and is being perfectly placed on that point. So now what we'll do is we'll bring in our title that we created here. So here's that composition. We'll bring it into the timeline. And the first thing we need to do is make sure that this is a 3D layer by clicking that 3D layer icon. And what we're going to do here is go to our text layer, hit P on our keyboard for position. We will copy the position and then we can delete the text layer and then we'll hit P on keyboard again on the title layer that we created and paste that position parameters on our title. So then we can use the X and Y value here to help reposition our title exactly where we want it to be. So if we want it right there on that plant, there it is. So now we scrub through this, that call out title is now perfectly in place of our shot. You'll see that we'll keep moving past the call out title. So that's how you can create a title, track your shot and put your graphic within your motion footage. Another quick tip is you should enable motion blur and feel free to enable motion blur for all your edited graphics here as well. And then let's go to effect noise and grain and add a little bit of noise to this. And you can set this up to maybe like two to 6%. And what this will do is just help composite in the title into your footage because your footage will probably have some noise, some pixelization when you zoom in and you're probably gonna wanna create that on your graphic as well. So just, it's a good idea to you know play with that setting if you want to be truly a perfectionist. So now you can call out specific details within your shot. So for example, you know, if you had an ex living with you and you shot some footage of your house, you can call it out and send them a video like, hey, I have your jacket. If you want some free templates, you can download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro template packs. Those links are below and always be creative.